Hi everyone, my name is Ria Sinesha and I'm really excited to introduce my mentee Sia Jane today. Sia is a ninth grader at Amar Jyoti International School. When we first met, we bonded over the fact that we both love to read and I really enjoyed talking to her about some of the books she's reading right now, which I also read when I was her age. In fact, Sia's final initial project idea, which she's gonna tell you more about soon, was based on her passion for reading and her desire to create a social network to connect readers and authors. Sia came into the magic program with a lot of enthusiasm and I was always impressed by her dedication. It was so amazing to see her apply what she knows from her programming classes at school to her magic project of building an app in Android Studio. Working with Sia for the past few weeks has been an absolute pleasure and I'm so proud of everything she's accomplished. Now, here's Sia to tell you more about her project and her experience with magic. Good morning, everyone. I am Sia, and this is my mentor, Ria Sunita. She is from California, and as you can see, she loves reading, and reading is the thing which we bonded on. And of course, she likes playing, she likes hiking, and she likes playing water polo. Water polo was one of the activities she chose in, uh, when she was in high school. So now, right now, she is doing her master's from MIT, which is like one of the best institutes for technology. And she's also doing research in assistive technology, which I think is going to help a lot of people in the future. So that's my amazing mentor. Family can change the slide. Um, well, my initial project was to make an app which would allow people, well, specifically young authors, to write their work on an app and then it can be published somewhere. Because like during quarantine, I started getting into reading and of course it was a dream for me to like publish my own work. And I quite, and I didn't quite uh, find a platform to do that. And also as I live in India, there are many books which I cannot receive here and every like, reader's dream is to have a big library where they can have all their books. So my app uh, has a feature where uh, books can be shipped from anywhere. But of course, there was quite a big project, so we started with a small project, which is a game called Uncode. Initially, we started um, learning Java from Code Academy. I knew some features of Java, but of course, I didn't know all the things because it's a quite deep subject. So we started from Code Academy, and I created a game. The game basically gives you a quote, and you have to guess who said the quote. So that was that is my project right now, which is I'm making changes that. Here you can see some screenshots of my code. I had to create three parent classes and then I had to introduce everything in that. The main activity basically consists of all the logic. Well, like if you create, uh, if you click a button, this is going to happen. And then if you click, uh, click another button. So that was my initial code, uh, initial code. And then we have the question dot Java class where everything from integer is changed into of uh, studies from everything from string is changed into integer. So that was my sum of the code which I wrote from Code Academy, and then I had to add the code in Android Studio. I'm going to do this slide. Okay, so this is a very interesting topic, but I found it really interesting. Either you, in this, this is a uh, auto generating thing, either you can write the code and the design would be there by itself, or you can write the design and the code would be there by itself. But what we did was we wrote the code. I mean, not I did, but like my mentor did it for me because um, I didn't learn this during my time. So we wrote the code and then the design was auto generated. So I think it's a really nice feature in Android Studio. As using Android Studio is quite complex because it's a very professional app, right? So I, th I found this really interesting and uh, writing the code is quicker than doing the layout by design. So this is a nice feature in Android Studio. I'm making general slide. So this is the this is my demo video uh, of what I created. Well, initially it's not a real app. We created it on an emulator on Android Studio. So as you can see, we have a code there. And then you can select who set the code. So there's that. And then you can see there are questions remaining. And 
um, every question you choose, after every question, the questions are going to increase as you're choosing the questions. And then you can click submit, and then so you can move on from the game. At the end of the game, you'll get a you get how many questions you uh, questions you won, but I don't think it's there in this. I mean, in the demo, but you have a feature where you'll get how many questions you got correct and how much you got wrong. That's that. I'm maybe using this way. Okay, so my initial project was to create an app, right? So at the end of the session, I think at the end of the last, at the ninth or eighth session, we were completed with the on-code game. So I decided to create the wireframing of my future project. So this is just some wireframing for that, for the same cause. Um, it'd be nice if I work, in, work on this in the future. So I created some of this thing. This one, you can show the wireframe. Then we can change this way. So well, now let's talk about my experience. So it was definitely fun to solve all the errors. It's it's more like I'll have an error and when I'll find it, I'll be like, oh, that was so stupid. Why did I like you know got to know it before? And of course, on every step, my mentor was really helpful to me. And I got sick in the middle of the thing, so my so I told my mentor like if you can change the timing and she was like always like okay we can change the timing to take proper rest and stuff like that and lessons learned for patients because imagine forgetting a small semicolon and then you have to rewrite the whole code and you're like looking at the code for like 10 to 15 minutes and then being like oh i missed the semicolon or oh, like this letter was supposed to be uppercase or lowercase so definitely patients coding needs a lot of patience at least for me it does can change like challenges, main challenge was to figure out Android Studio because it's a it's quite a complex app. It's more like the more you discover Android Studio, the more complex it becomes because it's a professional app, right? So there was that, and most of the time, thing was thing with me was the code looked correct, but it didn't work how I wanted it to. Probably because me missing some uppercase, lowercase, or like something like that. So. It was a fun project and I had a great experience. So I really like uh, mentoring with GRP and the magical thing in general. So, any questions? Uh, I want to ask that um, there are many apps that do the uh, same thing about the books which you mentioned earlier. So, just what makes your uh, app different from the other available? Yes, ma'am. From our audience, uh, one of the students asked how what makes my app different. So I think what makes my app different is that um, we do have many apps which is which are doing the same thing, like getting books and stuff. But as I mentioned, the feature where books will be shipped here, and also I've also I've been in lots of apps for reading, and they didn't have like a proper community. Like I mean, they didn't have uh, well where people can interact with each other. Definitely, there were many apps for that, but they didn't have proper interaction, which I think is really good for authors if they want to like grow up and become uh, authors. So, like, you need criticism for that. So, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, now I'll pass on to your 